Hey, you probably already saw on social media this type of quick video time lapse. It's a quick way to share your process. To do that in Krita, create a new image. I'm picking here the preset named Film 16 by 9 4K. Then press the button Create. Let's start with a name for our new project and go to File, Save. And then go to the top menu, Settings, Dockers, and in this big list, select the recorder. After that, the recorder docker will pop somewhere in your layout of dockers. You can drag and drop the title of the recorder docker and release it over the layer dockers. That way, both will be grouped on the same section. Now, we have more room to read the options. Among them, you can choose the target directory for storing the frames, the time between capturing each frame, the format of the files and their quality, and of course, the resolution. For this test, I'm just using all the default and I'm pressing the record button. Now I can sketch something. I don't need to hurry. If nothing changes on the canvas or if I'm taking a pause, it will not be visible on the final time lapse. And that's because Krita will capture only new frames if a change happens on the canvas. While drawing, I can also hide the recorder docker behind the layers docker. And all I need to see now is if Krita is recording right now, and I can see that thanks to a tiny indicator in the bottom toolbar. Once you are done with your drawing session, it's a good idea to save again your file before going further. Then we can reveal the recorder docker and press stop to, well, stop recording. To transform our captured frames into a video file, we press the export button. And this panel has many technical options, like on the top the amount of FPS of frame per second for your video. Uh, you also have options to show the result at the start or at the end of the video and a size for your final video. We can't keep the same size as our 4K capture rate frames and that's because our resulting video will be too heavy for social media. So we have to resize our final video. And that's why I check here the option resize. Then I press at the end the lock icon to preserve the aspect ratio. I enter then a classic HD resolution. Depending of your operating system and the package you use for Krita, you might need to set up manually where is located FFmpeg on your disk. And FFmpeg is a library used by Krita to make video. I then keep the default MP4 video format and finally set where the final video should land on my disk. And after all of that, I can press export. If everything went well, congratulations. <laughs> I tell that because this feature is still very young and contains unfortunately many bugs and unsupported systems. Here is, for example, a quick list of advices if you plan to use this feature very often. First, start your new canvas with a video size or a ratio of common video size. Then, absolutely avoid to crop or resize your canvas on the way. And I also advise to start your file from scratch, using only new file each time. And finally, I do on my side a final workaround before posting the file. And that's adding a silent audio soon track to my video with FFmpeg command line. And I do that because my favorite social media considers video without an audio soundtrack like a GIF animation. And that's not optimal because GIF animation appears on the timeline of my social media without video playback controls. So, huh, it's a quick tweak. But uh, doing that restored the video playback controls under the video and that's important for me. So there is of course many more things to say about this feature and I propose we continue it on the comments. Uh, have fun sharing your painting process on social media and see you later. Bye.